I'm with the coolest mom I've ever. Oh. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Poor Man's Podcast. Exotic Dancer is going to teach us how to be real men. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that ciao. It's ciao time. Here's a list of jobs that men should not do, especially grown ass men, okay? For one, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you, all right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown ass men in his goddamn 40s flipping my goddamn burger, okay? Let it go, leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't wanna see no grown ass man handing me a dress, okay? Why are you a grown ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense, okay? Target, Marshalls, like guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. But once you're a grown ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. Up until this point, I actually agree and I don't think any man when they were a kid imagined that they'd be dropping french fries at 35 years old. With that being said, she's also a stripper and all the jobs she's criticized so far get more respect in society than strippers do. And for you, hi- I'm like 50 and 50 with this poor man. I'm a little bit against it. Yes, I do agree that grown men shouldn't be in these careers, but sometimes that's all these men can do. And there's not much else. Some men are not built to be more. Some men are not built to be- leaders of men or whatever it is sometimes they just want to be comfortable this is the part where i think a lot of men that want to be comfortable don't want to strive to be the best to strive to get women they just want to live a comfortable life and it's okay i value men that think that it's high value to work for the city <laughs> Let me tell you something, you're absolutely wrong, all right? No police officers, no firefighters, no construction workers, no mailmen, no post office. Um, if you consider that a high value man, you're absolutely wrong, okay? There's post office is a very prestigious job. It is very hard to get into the post office. There's nothing high value about making 70,000 a year. You men that think working for the city is high value, it's actually not, okay? It's pathetic, oh, it's sad, pathetic. all right? I don't want my husband coming home smelling like trash. Yes, we do need people to take the trash out, but don't come to me thinking that that's a high value job. Absolutely not, okay? You guys need to go. Yeah, now I have an issue. Now you're just trashing blue collar workers and you know construction workers, trash workers, sewer workers. Shut the fuck up. These men sacrifice their noses, their their cleanliness, their time and effort to make shit work. Without them, you would be stinking. So stop it. Get some real careers, okay? Become an entrepreneur oh, yeah. or something, all right? Own a Lamborghini oh, yeah. or Why something. Like, think that? You guys thinking that this, you driving around here in a fucking Toyota and thinking that you're a high value man because you work for the fucking post office. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it, <laughs> all right? You're low value, oh, all yeah. right? If you want a high value woman like me, you need to switch your career path. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Keep it up, though. She don't want you to come home smelling like trash, but she can come home smelling like ass. A pot smoking slut. slut. We don't need more firefighters. We need more entrepreneurs. Why would you settle for a steady job with benefits when you could own a Shopify website, drop shipping snow globes from China? That just makes no fucking sense. What her stripper brain fails to understand is that all of those high value jobs are luxuries and they wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the blue collar men that keep the world running. Exactly. I don't care what she say. If you work for the government, Government, if you a male man, you get benefits, and the number one benefit you get is staying far away from women like this. Stripper detected, opinion rejected. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. We don't care. Okay, I want to have a little discussion about OnlyFans. Um, do you think men shouldn't take you serious if you have one? Ugh. It's hard to be okay <laughs> with another man appreciating your woman in that intimate way that you appreciate them. So mm -hmm. I can understand where a man would be not okay with it. However, my job doesn't make me who I am. It's Absolutely. what I do for money. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Just because I'm... 
really? Because a guy that's a doctor is not who he is, but everybody likes him because he's a doctor. Selling my body online and like doing this to make money at the same time, like that's what fucking football players are doing. They're getting hurt. They're getting injured. They're, they're selling their body that for entertainment. Is... It's not traditional. It's 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 socially acceptable now, but it's still becoming more acceptable. Does she compare herself to football players? Only fans models compare themselves to football players because they're sh using their bodies. If you want to say that, technically every job in the world requires you to use your body in whatever way to move shit, to do shit. What the fuck are you talking about? as time progresses but at the same time like I said my job doesn't make me who I am I'm still a good woman regardless of what you see me doing yeah. online I'm still gonna cook I'm still gonna clean I'm gonna fuck I'm gonna I'm I can be respectable with your parents we can talk about religion we can talk about politics like I'm not dumb how can you be respectable with my parents when you're <laughs> when you're a corn star like that <laughs> if I took you to my parents there'd be no respect period <laughs> like it's a, it's a lot to it my job <laughs> right. doesn't make me a certain type of way absolutely. and i feel like stereotypes are too attached to the sex industry absolutely and things get misconstrued a lot people just think we are just big fucking dummies like yeah, we're like demons all. or something you guys like think we're yeah. evil but like you said my I job say. is not what that not who i am mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm intelligent i can have a conversation with you i can love you i mm -hmm. can pour love into you i can give you motivation i can give you inspiration and guess what men can do these things too and they don't have to be doctors they don't have to be lawyers they don't have to be whatever career you seem to think that makes a lot of money. But it doesn't seem to be able to flip all the way or other way around when it comes to men, does it? Mm -hmm. I could make you a better man. Exactly. And after I make you a better man, then, make me a better woman. Yeah, OnlyFans girls and strippers shouldn't be judged for what they do for work. But if you work for the government, you're low value. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill. Do not take me to no motherfucking cheesecake factory on no first day. First day is supposed to be an experience, okay? I want an experience. I need ambiance. I'm asking dancers. Chill. Okay? About to bust a Terry Crews and fart all over the place and give you the bask in my ambiance. Okay, because they've been on the internet tearing me down about the Cheesecake Factory. So I want to know. Would you accept Cheesecake Factory for a first date? Hell the fuck no. Who the heck is this random guy right here just like showing off his crotch? Oh, I would not accept Cheesecake Factory as a first date. We don't care. Do I look like a Cheesecake Factory type of bitch? Okay. I look like a bitch for sure. Why the fuck would you take me to a $50 ass restaurant? Because you're a stripper. It's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. Go be cheap with a cheap bitch. <laughs> Go be cheap with a cheap and bitch. And this is what I'm trying to say. Like, know your level. Know your levels. You want a cheesecake paper type of bitch, you go to Circle K. You go to Walmart. You don't come find a stripper and take her to fucking Cheesecake Factory, baby. Thank you. They be trying to lay me <laughs> out of the comments. They like, oh, wow. bitch, uh, you a stripper. Look at you a... Look at this. Do this look like a Cheesecake Factory type ass? They shake the ass. Whore. The only cheesecake I acknowledge is a cheesecake that I ordered from DoorDash to my motherfucking house, okay? Period, okay? If I want a little snack, if I want some cool shit, I'll go get Cheesecake Factory for myself. But you gonna take me out and take me to Cheesecake Factory? On a first date. On a first date? It's like I can see we already kind of locked in, you know what I'm saying? You know what Women really think the first date is just like the grand fucking finale of a man's life or something. He's supposed to show you everything in the world that he ha possibly has and can do for you. Fuck out of here. We know each other. I'm not spending three hundred dollars on you. We don't know each other. I'm not knocking cheesecake. Not the first date. Come on now, you gotta at least pretend like you got a little motion. Even if you don't really, you gotta at least pretend. Pretend like you got some motion. Don't tell me this is getting married the first date. Thank you, baby. What's your name? Fat ass tiny. Ooh, let me see. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Period. Yeah. Listen. If you want a girl like fat ass, ass tiny, you gotta tiny. you gotta step your game up, fellas. Because I'm gonna be pissed off and I'm gonna talk about you on social media. <laughs> okay, I am. And why men have given up on dating? Don't even want to talk to women. Don't want to do all this. You're gonna blast him on social media. I'm gonna talk about your ass. All right. Period. Crack is cheap. It if is. If I can pay $50 to see your coochie, I'm not paying more than $50 to take you on a date. That's crazy. <laughs> she literally getting her fucking. The buck, 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 buck. Literally getting dug out. Raw. Raw. 
shoddy work, simps, and western whores will be accounted by historians as the reason for the downfall of western civilization. And that's oh, a good agree fact. With that. You're a victim. Mm. I'm dealing with a bipolar man and it makes me sick. First, he dated me two months and he opened his home to me and my three kids. We moved out of my mom's house into his townhouse. I registered my kids in his school district. He gave me a spare room to braid hair and earn money. We had a fun and loving vibe. I know he loves me and adores my kids, but I made one mistake and he threw us all out. My side dude stopped by to get his braids done and to borrow some money, I also gave him a quick BJ. What? <laughs> what? Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? I did not know there was a camera in my braiding room. I wouldn't have slipped up like that. Gotcha. I apologize, but Mr. Bipolar switched up on me and threw me and the kids and all of our things in the he's front yard. He's bipolar? I took... Because he saw you giving head to your sneaky link in his house, in the room that he provided for you to make money? Yeah. He's bipolar, all right. What I could into the Uber. I can't believe how he snapped and turned on us like that. What relationship red flags did I miss? I'm so scared to be vulnerable with the man again. Advice. You the red flag, flag, sis. You brought your side dude over, over to your man, man house who took you and, and your three kids, kids in and, 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 and was throwing me. me. You were slobbing on knob and got and caught, caught on that 4K, 4K camera. camera. Balls on, on your chin, chin sis. sis. Lady. To be honest, he kind of played himself, and that's why I tell dudes, stop moving in with these girls you're not married to and stop paying utilities for these girls you're not married to. She played herself too. She got three kids and now they homeless because she can't stop throating sausage. She belongs to the streets. He dodged a bullet. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or a L and give me the HBO special. That's out for the house special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till, Till next, next time. time. Really? You got caught on camera giving your ex head and you even called him your sneaky link so you were still seeing this man it wasn't just a one-time thing and he's bipolar for kicking you out please like subscribe down below i really appreciate that i'll catch you guys next time ciao